thing. Next thing that I need to do is I need to start a patina. A patina is uh, what naturally occurs to copper when it's left out in the elements, copper or bronze. When it's left out in the elements for a long enough period of time, a patina will naturally occur on the surface of it. Sort of like the Statue of Liberty is green. The green on the Statue of Liberty is a patina. Now, if you don't want to wait for nature to take its course, then you have to force nature to take its course. And I use several different things. I use combinations of vinegar and salt. I use ammonia. I use a torch sometimes. Depends on my mood and depends on the result that I want. So I have, and then I have another arsenal of chemicals that I use, but those are the secret chemicals and I'm not showing them to you. First thing that I'm going to start out with is I'm going to do just a simple patina. I'm going to use a combination of vinegar and salt. I'm going to put some ammonia on it because it's really cool to watch the process and see how it turns. So let's see what happens. And when I say let's see what happens, I say that because one of the things I like the best about working with copper is it sort of has a life of its own. And it, it's going to do whatever it wants to do. I can, I, I'm pretty good at determining what it's going to do, but it never ceases to amaze me. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it with some vinegar and salt. And then I'm going to torch it because it's a video and torching it is so fun. You can see it starts to turn right away. Now these are gorgeous colors, but some of these will not hold up to the lacquer finish. They'll just fade away. And that's part of the learning curve is determining which ones you're going to be able to retain once you get to the finished product. Now another thing about this too is that this is just the first part of the process so I'm going to need to leave this to sit overnight to determine what kind of colors I'm going to get on it. Humidity affects it. Oh, I kind of like that. I think I might leave it. Humidity will affect it. Temperature will affect it. Time will affect it. And of course the chemicals that I choose to put on it. Watch I'll show you a little bit of ammonia and show you the difference that it makes. I should have my mask on. You can see that the ammonia, ammonia is really good for turning blue colors. And I should be able to get some of that quickly. You can see the blue, I don't know if you can see that, the blue running off of it. If I leave it to sit on there, I'm going to have a lot more blue on the surface of it. But that's sort of the beginning of it. There's a lot more to it than that, but it's cool to see. So one of my favorite things about it is watching it turn colors, seeing what it's going to do. Every time you go over it, you might get a different color each and every time. It's sort of like working with something that's alive. Thinks for itself. Constant battle. Me versus copper. Alright, there you go. That would be the beginning of one. And uh, I'll do another video and show you what came out of this at the end. So, yeah, that's the beginning.